Greetings from the House of Representatives in Olympia. This is your State Representative Kerry Condado with a weekly update on what's happening here in Olympia. Obviously, you can see we're not on the House floor. That's because we're now voting on the House floor. Committee work is finished from both the House side, the Senate side, and the Senate bills are now arriving at the House floor and into rules. And over the next few weeks, we'll be doing a couple of things. We'll be voting on Senate bills and then reconciling the bills between the House and Senate. Of course, the big story this week, uh, the budget has been released by the House and the Senate, both of them similar in some ways, different in others. The fact of the matter is the base number on this budget is quite interesting. If you take the 2003-2005 budget and you add inflation and population, which is the old standard of Initiative 601 and probably a standard we should have been sticking to for years, you would come up with a budget around $28.5 billion. The budget that's just been written is $29 billion base with $3 billion in federal uh, money added. Uh, this is one-time money. That's a huge concern we'll talk about in a moment. But the fact is, even at $32 billion with a $3 billion surplus, it comes back to a baseline of $29 billion. Just proves that economics uh, works. Bottom line is that's about where we should be based on uh, the revenue available. And the revenue uh, in our state tends to follow the economy quite closely. So the fact is uh, this budget's uh, still larger than the last one albeit with some federal money thrown in. Now, the concern is with the next budget. If you have $3 billion in federal money that doesn't come back next time, depending on how revenue comes in, you could create even a bigger hole going forward. So there is some concerns about using that one-time money. But we'll see. Now, as far as the particulars, what's in, what's out, that's still going to be negotiated. And whether these priorities are correct or not, it's too early to say. But it looks in general, at least the baseline number seems to be fairly correct. So we'll give credit where credit's due. 29 billion is probably where we should be. Although we must be very conscious of this extra $3 billion in federal money that won't come back, at least we don't think it'll come back in a few years. Other interesting subjects this week. The first tax increase was put on the floor. Tax increases, thanks to Initiative 960, an initiative passed just a few years ago, require a two thirds vote. This was the first time we've tested this on the floor. It's a 66 vote situation, 66 yes votes to pass. Interestingly enough, as you know, most, most uh, bills that go to the floor are decided before they get there. You rarely see one fail. Well, in this case, there was quite a debate, uh, probably an hour and a half of debate, an excellent debate, and evidently we changed a few minds because in the end it only had 58 votes and the bill went down. And it should have been. It was the tax on telephones, a $47 million plus tax increase. $47 million in the middle of this economy is absolutely unnecessary and it was being uh, used for technology that we don't even have yet. Uh, it was a great day on the hill for the Republicans who basically won one and then for the minority that's pretty rare. We didn't win one in the House Committee on Friday though. I hate to say that uh, yes the Democrats managed to put a tax increase on business. Your uh, payroll taxes will go up substantially if they get their way but I can tell you as a small business person I'm going to fight every inch of the way to remove that amendment on the unemployment tax program and get your payroll taxes headed back on the downside. We'll check, check in with you in a week or so. Lots of action coming. Stay tuned. This is your State Representative Kerry Condotta. We'll see you next week.